Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And as always, if you're already subscribed, thank you again so much for being here and welcome back. We're just about halfway through December, but there are still a few hidden giveaways to go. So make sure you watch as many videos as you can all the way through so that you can find out how to enter and win. Today though I have one of my favorite kawaii subscriptions and that is Kirin and Hari. They actually have two different subscriptions. They have the Kirin box which is usually a little more geared towards adults in terms of having practical useful items and that's what I usually get. They also have the Hari Nezumi box or the Hari box and that's a little bit more geared towards kids but both boxes are always really adorable. There's always a theme and they do announce the themes ahead of time so I knew that the kitten box this time had an owl theme and the hottie box has a fox theme. Now I like owls but I like foxes better so I went ahead and tried out the other subscription this time. Both boxes are $26.99 per quarter. They always include a handmade item as well as a little DIY craft project which I think is really really cool. Now if you're interested in subscribing you can actually save 25% using my code Noel 25 As always I'll leave all of that information for you guys in the description box below but let's go ahead and get into it I just love their logo it's a giraffe with a little hedgehog sitting on his back I just think that is so cute already so the kawaii goodness starts from the box outside and right on top I've got a little note and some little cutout snowflakes from them and they always do a little handwritten note for me which I really you guys know I appreciate I love that it says dear Noel thank you for your amazing support this past year and we've enjoyed watching your channel grow happy holidays awesome and then we've got our little product card nice and glossy this time that tells us all about the items we don't get our retail values but with this box I really don't mind just because again it is such a good value to begin with and uh, you also get that handmade item which I feel like is always like priceless so it just says Thank you for ordering the Hari Nezumi box. Happy holidays from Kirin and Hari. We hope you are staying cozy and warm at home this winter. This fox box was so much fun to put together for you, and we hope it brings you some sparkle this holiday season. So I'll just prop this up in front of me so that I can reference it as we go through. So just opening up the tissue paper. Oh my gosh, you guys, this box is so, so cute. I'm just gonna go for the thing that I already know I'm gonna like the most, which is the little handmade crocheted item. He is so, so cute. It is a little crocheted fox. Is that not adorable? One of his ears is like folded over. Look at his little eyes and his little bobble head. It's like kind of oversized. And then of course we've got a nice little like bushy fox tail. I just think that is gonna be such a cute little desk buddy. I really need to learn how to crochet because I just think little items like this are adorable and like it's always what sells me on any box that has them. So. Let me just flip and see what it says. This is the Ami Gurumi Fox. This cuddly guy is another handmade kitten and hottie exclusive and our favorite so far. Ami Gurumi is the Japanese art of crocheting small and cute creatures. Keep as a plush toy or use as a tree ornament. That's actually a really, really good idea. It'd be easy to just sew a little loop through his head so you could have him on your Christmas tree. Although I think I want him out year round, but he would be really cute to have on your rear view mirror as well as a little driving buddy. So what a cute little item. I love that. I Like I said, I think it's properly going to be my favorite item in the whole box. We've got more cuteness to go though, you guys. All right. So, th oh, this is so soft. Wow. It's this little fox pouch, like a little pencil case. And it's like in velour, you guys. It is so adorable with the little closed eyes and little eyelashes. It does have like a little like keychain loop here. So you could actually attach it to the outside of a purse or something like maybe a backpack, little velvety ears. There's some goodies inside, but let's see what it says. So there's some stationary items inside. Let me just pull them out so I can show each of them to you. But it's nice. This has like a nice lining that looks like you could wipe it clean pretty easily too, which is, I appreciate that. So we got some really cute Fox washi tape, which is the same washi tape that was decorating the cover of the box. I need to get a little bit more crafty. I don't do like a day planner, like not on paper, but I'm thinking maybe I'll be a little craftier in the new year. That can be one of my resolutions because now I have lots of really fun washi tape from different boxes. We also got this um, a multicolor lead pencil. So maybe you guys can see at the 
end that's all the different colors that are in there it looks like that spinning wheel that you get sometimes on your computer that tells you you have to wait well back in the day so I actually got a couple of these multicolored writing utensils in my last blend box but I do think it's kind of fun to take notes with them just gives you that little pop of color and whimsy and then it looks like we got some little sticky notes with this little fox here on the corner with his little tongue sticking out um, I'm assuming they're sticky notes it's like a tiny tiny little notepad and then finally we got like a rig more regular notepad it looks like it's a deconstructed fox of some sort so I'm guessing this is maybe our craft item but let me read a little bit more and see exactly what this is so we've got fox stationary items it says use the washi tape as a cute decorative touch on your holiday gifts and cross off your shopping list with this fun multicolored pencil from Japan the mini sticky notes so they are sticky are perfect for adding reminders to calendars oh that'd be like the perfect size for for like a day on a wall calendar that's that's a good idea and to-do lists finally store everything in this oh so soft fox face pencil case so so cute it didn't say anything about that other notepad so let me just flip it is our our little project so but that's nice that they gave gave us the notepad because the little pieces of paper that look like they're gonna make up a fox it's a notepad cover so let me just show it to you guys so you can see so it's like this little little fox notepad cover that's made out of like construction paper it says each of our boxes comes with a DIY craft project create your own mini notepad cover watch the video tutorial on our website to see how to put these together in just a few minutes so I definitely will do that I had a lot of fun the other night doing a couple little craft projects that I got in that blend box just having fun doing something besides sitting on my phone with the TV playing in the background it's so often I look over and both my husband and I are scrolling through Instagram on our phones with the TV playing on the back on in the background so at least if I'm gonna do that and not be paying attention to whatever's on the television I might as well be doing something with my hands that's using my brain a little bit more than just aimlessly scrolling through the gram right so I can make a little notepad cover this time my husband the last time when I was doing a little crafty project like looked over and was just like that looks like torture and I was like oh I like love this this is so exciting to me to have time to do something a little more creative so really happy to have that little project and it looks like we've got a couple more items you guys look how cute this is is. it's like this little paper pyramid it actually has a little loop I guess you could maybe hang it up as an ornament but look at this little I'm assuming it's a fox a little fox face kind of poking out the hole all right let's open it up from the bottom and see what this is I got it kind of kind of taped closed all right this is so cute you guys now you know me I'm not a huge fan of getting socks in different subscription boxes because I don't usually wear shoes that require socks however it's been a little chilly on my toesies and we have hardwood floors so I have been wearing the fuzzy socks and socks the first that have been coming in my subscription boxes this season look how cute these are are. they're so fuzzy so the eyes and nose are embroidered on there and then we've got these little ears that stick up and then above it's got these like fun little diamonds in like that foxy orange and gray and blue I think those are really cute and they are that really like soft like chenille so let's see what it says about these socks in case it's not self-explanatory these socks are incredibly soft and fuzzy and are sure to keep your toes warm when it's cold outside we put them in these fun pyramid boxes for easy gift giving or keep them yourself we won't tell yeah I'll probably hold on to this I've done a lot of my my, um, shipping already so these are gonna be cute and they'll definitely go into the rotation and I just imagine myself with my feet up doing my crafts so I think it's a great little box um, so even though this is the Harine Zumi box I actually feel like a lot of the items in here are very practical we got some like fuzzy slipper socks I got that adorable pencil case some note a notepad some stationary stuff so super functional and the only thing that's like not functional is this guy which is like again my favorite we did get one more item in here you guys and it's delicious I'm excited we got an edible treat it is some choco rooms if you've ever had these before they are amazing they kind of remind me of like pocky sticks but they are so so delicious so uh, they don't photograph that well so you might not see them over in my photos for Instagram 
Instagram because they're probably gonna go in my belly soon after filming this video. But let's see if they gave us any notes about how, how to use these uh, Choco Brooms. These bite-sized mushrooms are the perfect combination of crunchy biscuit and chocolate goodness that is dense enough to feel indulgent. Don't we all deserve a little indulgence these days? Absolutely. So again, you guys, I thought this was another fantastic box from Kirin and Hari. I'm really looking forward to seeing what people got in the owl box, in the Kirin box. I will probably go back to the Kirin box depending on what the next theme is, but I almost wish this was a monthly subscription because it is always so fun and it's always so hard to wait another three months until we get another box of kawaii goodness, but like this guy. If you have any suggestions for what I should name this little fox in the comments below, let me know. We'll, we'll, we'll give him a name. And again, he's going to be my little desk buddy, I think. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and hopefully I see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.